we are coming to India one more time. Come and spend your week with us. There are many people traveling from our many countries that will be coming and joining us to have a great revival service in Bangalore. October 11th and 12th will be exclusive for pastors and leaders. One more time, the Lord shall break shackles. The Lord shall break the plans of the enemy. The Lord shall be glorified and magnified. RiveNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Isaiah 6 verse 1, this is going to help you. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting up on a throne. One more time. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne. Everybody read it after me. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne. One more time, but this time I want you to understand it. One more time. Okay, let's keep this here, okay? Let's leave that here. Let's go to Luke chapter 10 and verse 40. But Martha was distracted with much serving. Verse 39, she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. I already talked about it in detail, but I want you to see another, another hidden manna. <laughs> yes. You see, Mary was already sitting at the feet of Jesus. Already she's sitting at the feet of Jesus. But she still does not have a breakthrough of the revelation of Jesus. How, how strange is that? How sad is that? You can sit at the feet of Jesus, you can listen to sermon after sermon, week after week, and not have a revelation of who you're listening to. Who you worship. I'm telling you. So Mary is sitting here at the feet of Jesus. She's listening. She's chosen the better portion. Okay? She's chosen what others have not chosen. She's doing things that others have not done. She's doing all, she, oh, her checklist is good. She's one of the revivalists. <laughs> but she's not able to enter the zone of encounters. Okay? She's not able to enter the zone of revelation. She's not able to translate her spirituality. Sitting at the feet of Jesus was being spiritual. But she's not able to translate her spirituality into the next dimension of knowing who this man was. This man that she was sitting at. She's not able to look into the next dimension until her brother died. Until it was only when her brother died her character issue manifested. It was only when her brother died her real character issue manifested. Till then she was like this wonderful sister in our church. Oh, she's so nice. Oh, you should see the way she loves Jesus. Ah, everybody appreciates her. Until her brother died, she went to Jesus and said, Jesus, this one is on you. Because if you were here, he wouldn't have died. And you know what? Jesus likes stretching a child of God so that your faith may expand. I can preach about that all night. Example after example. The Lord loves to stretch your capacity. So he doesn't come back, come to her in one day. Doesn't come to her two days, three days. In fact, there was a belief among the Jews then that the soul of the body stays on earth for three days and then leaves. So guess what? Jesus does not come to her for four days. So technically, according to them, it's like, at least if you'd have come on the third day, aye, because the soul was roaming around the earth, he could have catched the soul and put it back. But now the soul has left. 
the soul has crossed over to Abraham's lap and there's a great bridge so their understanding was now that the crossing over has happened you cannot do nothing so that was the reason why Jesus didn't come back in three days he came back the four days when all hope is dead now you're totally surrendered unless the grain of wheat falls down and dies you don't see the next dimension until there are some things in your heart that has to die so can i tell you you ready for this lazarus did not die the day lazarus died lazarus died on the fourth day when she said now there's no way that's when he really died in our heart the day he died in our heart is the day when the king manifested in front of her <laughs> Isaiah 6 verse 1 in the year that king Uzziah died i saw the lord sitting upon a throne there are some kings that rule your life for her her brother was everything You know when you have two sisters and there's only one brother hey you treat him like hey, this is a apple of the eye because god is saying whenever you have somebody who is the apple of the eye you want to put your hands around it you want to make sure to protect it you want to take care of it you know you give special attention to that one lazarus was like that in their case two sisters only son only brother so the brother is the full attention on he's the one who is now going to go work hard you know take care of the family he's the one he's the one he's the one do you understand what i'm saying and the lord is saying i i want this one to die in your heart you have too much attention on him he is not the caretaker i am your caretaker i know why you're quiet because you're like oh oh that means what i'm doing is wrong yeah yeah sometimes you can make your children your idol did you hear that you can make your children your idol sometimes you can make your spouse an idol so now god has to show you it's not your spouse put your eyes on me everybody else will disappoint you but i won't disappoint you so who are the kings in your life who are the kings that is why every day i tell you keep your eyes on jesus keep your eyes on jesus don't focus on the man of god here i'm just his vessel i'm just his instrument it is the lord that is doing it it is the lord that is touching it is the lord that is interested are you listening Zing as long as you have this attachment to this in this area for some people their job is their king their job is a king the day you get fired ah uh, get ready for encounters you can either wait for the job to fire you or kill it in your heart 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 i'm telling you in your heart only he can be the lord of your life in your heart he will not share the space with no other person in your heart it should be jesus and jesus one desire one desire one desire one desire one desire anything that doesn't have his mark does should not have space in your heart so don't wait for the king to die why don't you kill the king one more time don't wait for your job to be lost why don't you kill the job in your heart say i disconnect i disconnect some of your friends are the king in your life ha ah, the way you love your friend anything happens you have not spoken to the lord you call your friend i want to tell you what happened hey Your friend is your king. You haven't talked to Jesus about it. 
yet you have called your friend are you understanding what i'm saying look at your heart now and say who is the king in my heart the king of the heart is the one you gaze upon in the first moments in the first moment the first gaze that should always be jesus not your pastor not your friend not your finances nothing else it has to be what jesus it has to be jesus who is your first glance going to jesus your first thought should not be oh i'm going to talk to my spiritual father no 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 but your first glance has to be what jesus your first glance has to be jesus 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 you have to practice it the first thought has to be jesus your first call has to be jesus before you text anybody else go on your knees take time to pray don't be they 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 say don't be trigger friendly okay how about don't be text friendly or 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 thumb friendly where you immediately you send a message to 10 people pray for me pray for me pray for me pray for me everybody pray for me i won't pray i won't pray but i'll send a message to everybody i get all the intercessors in church to pray but i won't pray how about one time don't tell anybody how about you stand up and say i'm going to stand and believe in the god that has loved me in the year that so there are some things that has to die in the natural where that part of dying let me let me give you a practical example when a king calls you come running am i right when a king calls you come running when the king has died you don't go running now right okay so the question is if jesus is calling and your job is calling who do you run to okay 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 you all you know you know the right answers you're saying jesus brother until you go home the boss is saying no 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 tonight you have to stay late and you melt because you're so scared of your boss you're ready okay boss okay no problem i will be here to 10 o'clock working for his money he's not going to share his his money with you he's making more if you didn't know <laughs> Uh I told one of my sons I said you are hired to work till 6 o'clock come 6 o'clock leave the building oh but that's falling this falling I said doesn't matter what is falling you have a life you have a family you have a children you signed up till 6 o'clock be faithful till 6 o'clock after that say bye bye you have a king that you have to answer to Don't be a slave to the corporate world. Don't be a slave to the co- So which person do you respond to reveals to you who the real king is? Which urge you respond to? Let me let me let me say this so that you will remember this. You go home all the distraction starts calling you. all the distractions start calling you they're looking for your attention here there phone tv message call internet facebook instagram we i give you a whole list snapchat what else tell me tell me start confessing they are all calling for you they are all what they're calling for you men the robrogosia the bible says they had a strong craving they had a what strong craving and god was angry with them and god killed them 
in the desert they died in the desert because instead of responding to the king they responded to their cravings the craving was king are you understanding what i'm saying what do you respond do you respond to your cravings you have to tell your cravings not today satan okay listen to me jesus fasted for 40 days at the end of the 40 days you know what satan went with with the offer for making bread you know why jesus had a craving jesus had a craving satan used this probably is 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 a telescope because he didn't want to be near jesus when he's fasting right <laughs> so like it's like i yeah. 40 days he's fasting i don't know why he's fasting he's looking through the telescope and he's like wait a minute wait a minute he's hungry wow look at that he's looking at the plants he said he's hungry guys we have an idea let's go and offer food to him so 40 days jesus filled his need spiritually even though his spiritual need was met there was still a physical need that was not met so satan when he wants to tempt you he will study you and he will see okay spiritually they are fed every day ah this indian guy is he satan studies you and he sees that you're spiritually fed so he will look at where you have a need don't underestimate satan don't underestimate satan so spiritually jesus was fed but he looked into his intestines and found hunger and the temptation that he brought was so that he could fulfill his craving and the response of jesus was what man shall not live by bread alone in other words he's saying man shall not live by his cravings alone leave me alone satan just because i have a craving does not mean i have to satisfy it ah are you listening when you leave the revival when you leave this service that is when your temptations has to be harder that is when your temptations will be higher that is when your spouse will test if your patience is really growing as she has to know is 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 he working on the fruit of patience i need to test it before we go to sleep don't fall into the trap don't take the bait hey brothers you're very quiet now now i know why you're quiet ah are you understanding what i'm saying satan will know what is your craving he is trying to test you spiritually you are fed but there's still a vacuum somewhere in your intimacy husbands and wives don't create a starvation in that area When God created you, he created you complete. So don't neglect each other. I put it in that way. Children are here. Receive the revelation right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Jesus. I don't have time for my husband. Uh, Father, we pray for the sister. No. No, don't create a space for the enemy. No oh, no no don't create a space for the enemy Satan is observing you more than you are observing yourself every man every woman you know i i was talking to somebody i said don't be so busy with revival that you don't study your wife don't be so busy with revival that you don't study your wife sometimes all she wants is to is to just hold hands with you but you are so spiritual but not realizing that the next 6 years of counseling that you need that whole thing could have been solved if you took time to just hold her hands simple simple there is a vacuum in every part of him every individual 
you have studied everybody around you you have studied the deep encounters and the revelation and the book of Ezekiel and the ring within the ring and the wheel within the wheel but you don't know your wife yeah 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 God created you as a human God created you as a human you have to study that part of you you have to study that part of you but you've not worked on the part which has cravings you've not worked on the parts which has cravings so some parts that have craving you say it's okay i can starve brothers you listening to me i think it's late one more time some cravings you starve it some cravings god has given you a helper you cannot expect god to do things for you when you have not done what you have to do you cannot do i'm prophesying right now yes grow in your oneness say it's as equivalent as you having a revival at the feet of jesus do you think jesus enjoys you being thirsty and hungry and empty and lonely god is saying no that's not how i designed it. i want you to rise up and fill up this that you have been given the grace to fill up hello welcome to revive nations with shaiju matthew i know that you have been transformed by the word that you heard right now and in the days to come you're going to hear about god's hand that's upon your life and i'm looking forward to celebrating with you if you haven't already would you take a minute and join us on our social media platform follow comment and subscribe and share this with your family and friends thank you again for your partnership with us If you desire to support our ministry, you can do so by visiting revivenations.org/give. Your generosity helps us to reach someone new somewhere every day around the world. May the Lord see it and bless you. Until we meet again, God bless you. Shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything distance is not a barrier to god revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services 